So I have played a lot of World of Goo too. I've seen quite, um, I've seen quite far ahead, so I can talk with the game with a, quite a bit more. Um, what's the word? Um, uh, knowledge um, than just simply a, you know. But let me show you. So when it starts up, it's a World of Goo theme, and then just. Oh uh, yeah, but this is like, you know, we're now like 15 years on or whatever it is, 16, 15, and we've got a lovely, like a much more deeper remix of the original theme. We've got those Danny Elfman vibes, but there's a lot more going on. And yeah, as you can see, I'm on 73%. Let's start off, let's show you what it looks like. And to be honest, it just looks like how World of Goo um, are you remembering? Or how your brain would HD it, you know what I mean? So there we go. It's the same old kind of thing. It's very similar, you know, like you've got a little level map with your your puzzles on it and you make your way through the map and then you make your way through the chapters with some cool music and uh, classic you know 2d boy um, uh, cartoony visuals tentacles on you says uh, says we think and this this story well, you know what is the world of goose story right it's difficult to explain it's it's a lot of weird ideas it, it, it you'd strain if you were to make sense of it but it has some sort of weird internal logic and this world of goo 2 is even worse in that regard than i think the first one was so if you want to know what the main difference is between world of goo and world of goo 2 i'd have to say it is liquid physics um you can see a little bit here um but um, um, there's going to be a lot more liquid stuff going on later on. But yeah, there's a huge amount of liquid stuff, and everything is liquid. Um, so let's uh, pick up some of these guys down here. Well, you can just pick them up, can't you? Because they're already awake. Just pick these guys up. Now, I'm going to tell you the main thing that really annoys me. And that is the fact that the screen moves very easily. You see how I don't have to move very far. So I'm, I'm picking this guy up from down here, right? And I want to put him up here. I grab him. And if I just move a bit too far, suddenly I'm off. And... If you're trying to do anything fast and we all play World of Goo and we all kind of like, oh, quick, quick, put it in before it falls over, uh, you're going to miss it more than more often than you do. And something slightly worse is the fact that new to World of Goo 2 is if you grab the screen, you click on the screen, it will also move. So if you're desperately trying to grab something quickly and you miss, suddenly this happens. And it's... I'm surprised because it's pretty awful um, for playing with a mouse um, and keyboard. This, is, this really looks like it's designed for it's, it's the use your finger. I wish I could. That's probably actually okay. Are there any settings, Joe says. No, there are not. I, I have looked. Um, you go back to the screen, there's nothing but profile. And I thought, is it this bad for World of Goo 1? Like, as I don't remember. And if I go back to World of Goo 1, yeah. Let us check out World of Goo 1 and let's find out how was that? Does that work the same way? Because so I was thinking, really? Am I just being afflicted by nostalgia? Hang on, it's supposed to have appeared by now. Come on, come to me. Come to me. There we go. Yes, World of Goo. Surprise extra game, as Joe says. So here we are. You can see it's still doing the thing, right? 
I'm moving the edge of the screen. So the first level, where the hell is the first level? Is it down here? I'm gonna assume it's down here somewhere. There we go, it is the first level. It's still here, but I think like these, it's not as annoying. It's a little bit slower. Um, it, it isn't as rapid and also <laughs> you can't grab the screen. So it's not perfect and I'm sure it might annoy me more now this. But um, somehow it's just a lot more annoying on, on World of Goo 2. Um, what's the furthest away you can get from the edge and still have it move? So it's about here, I guess. Uh, there we go. This much of the frame. Oh, God. Let's try this. Here we go. It's about there. That's where it moves. And let's go back to World of Goo 2. Oh, this is fun, isn't it? I have to mention this. This is the thing that really started to annoy the hell out of me after just a level or two. Because you 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 spend a lot of your time trying to move things fast, right? You always want to try to cheat. Uh, our old friend the Sign Painter has been replaced by the illiterate illustrator. Let's go back to the game. So let's click on here and let's see if it's the same same distance to the edge. It's about the same position, but somehow it feels like it, it moves much faster and some of the levels have got a little bit more space. You see this compared to the first game, there's a lot more expanse out here. But anyway, that's um, that's something I think you get better at it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a bit more used to it, but there are some later levels um, and I'm not going to talk any detail about this stuff because there's a lot of like funky surprises to find out, right? You don't want to know what happens. You remember in World of Goo, the original, um, strange things happen later on which you might not have expected and it's truly lovely and World of Goo 2 is all the same thing. Oh, we're gonna do this now. Oh, we're gonna do that. Oh, this is weird. Um, and they just throw stuff out there and I don't think all of it works. See, I didn't get OCD by the way. And see, look, liquid. It's not like triangles which you get in the first world of Goo. Look at the uh, ball achievement. Uh, challenge your best 13 balls. Oh, I didn't think, oh, because I didn't get OCD because I already got it. <laughs> I get the OCD for having lots of balls. It's interesting how it does feel so much like World of Goo. It's not like, you know, it, it's totally souped up. But anyway, there are some uh, levels later on where I have to do some 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 quick dragging. I'll just say, let's have to do some quick dragging. And I end up like moving the screen and I lose control. So I'm kind of just doing them as sort of like, I'm just trying my best and get through the levels. Okay, so we've got here, on the edge of a small divide, more goo balls appeared. Where had they been all this time? For years, there were no goo balls anywhere. But now here they are, on hilltops, in ravines, oozing up out of the ground. Like no time at all has passed. So, always do your bit, make sure you explore the whole screen and there's anything going on. Look, liquids, I told you. <laughs> uh, Hugo designer says, uh, quite a meta-narrative. Yeah, I mean, World of Goo is always very good. I, I, I still like the very short, somehow, there's a sort of style, a sort of a, a narrative style to World of Goo, which felt very fresh and exciting at the time. I feel that it's still here. There's something a little bit snarky and quirky about the language, and it doesn't annoy you. Uh, a mysterious pipe snaked through, uh, down through, down from the canopy above. The goo balls seem to wonder where it might lead. So, these guys are asleep. We have to wake them up by making a bridge, which is always the funnest part of World of Goo. Making a goddamn bridge. So, 
So let's try and do that. And... I feel like it's something I have to tell you. And there's another part which kind of annoys me. I know I'm telling you a lot of bad things at the moment. It's still World of Goo and it's still lovely and I still love... It's, there's a joy to the World of Goo. But there seems to be an extra thing I don't remember from World of Goo where like sometimes like Goo balls sort of appear like after some time or when you trigger something they just sort of pop up and that's really annoying because sometimes it's not clear that's gonna happen and there was there's one level while I'm doing something and then I'm thinking why well, don't have enough here then some more appeared and I have to do something again and I'm like it's I'm not a fan of that and I'm also not a fan of some of the timed stuff because it can be quite hairy doing some of these and there's a, a, a timer sort of involved. So I know it sounds a bit down. Oh, I need to wake these guys up. Come on. There you go. Jump up. But, you know, it's World of Goo. Come on. I think if you if I go back and be serious, there are a lot of the original levels I just sort of, I wouldn't say cheesed, but you're just like, oh god, was that the right way of doing it? I have no idea. It worked. <laughs> um, so I want to point you this: twenty-nine balls or more is required to finish this to get the the challenge level here, and you know, where how are you going to get twenty-nine balls out of that? I actually know, and it annoys me. <laughs> so I'm less trust trusting of some of these challenges than I used to be. Some of them I'm like, I, I worked on one of the levels to get more of the goo balls, and it was like, oh, that was kind of weirdly fun, even though it was still a bit like, you know, um, I, I wasn't very skillful at it, but I was in, enjoyed trying to get it. But there are other levels where I'm thinking, I don't know how you're supposed to get that many. Juicer. So, you, uh, the undo again is through our old friend, the time bug. Uh, Vivek says, thankfully, they're not calling the challenges OCD anymore. They are. If you actually get the ball, the ball, um, the ball challenge, it'll pop up and say OCD. Sometimes, if you're really lucky, you'll see a little white bug buzzing around. Pop it. To go back in time so i think the the time bug stuff seems a bit more free now um so i feel like you only had like a few time bugs and then you just get locked so that was a bad thing about world of goo the original but the end you didn't really have undoes but i think we were in a slightly different time where that sort of puzzle undo thing was still kind of fresh uh but it seems a lot more um infinite now however it's uh let's they get this moving. Shh, they're sleeping. But they might wake up with a cold splash of liquid. What have I got to play with here? Okay. This wet sack looks like it's about to burst. I wouldn't tuck it if I were you. So, let's open it up. I'm grabbing this goo ball coming down here. And so the liquid wakes them all up. The liquid's there. Oh, we got more liquid. Sorry, I thought I'd 
I didn't realise there was more up here. I thought we were, it was all going to come down. I think I just lost one of the little guys, didn't I? Oh. Yeah, you can stay there. You can stay there. Okay. Now, you can notice the time bug is here, just off to the left. You can see it, right? And so let me just do a bit of crowing here. I have to tell you all the things that annoy me. <laughs> Get them out the way. The time bug, I'll click it. And then it's up there, right? I have to chase it. And it's often by the edge of the screen, which means that you kind of like do this when you're going to grab for it. But when I do a few more times, now it's over here. And it's like close, but no cigar, you know? It's just... It's like having the the, menu, the the window start button just off from the corner. It's, you can't just chuck your cursor at it and click it. It's got to be, you've got to aim for it and it moves around. And it's kind of cute, but it isn't really. So, those are the bad things about World of Goo 2. Some of them are reminiscent, are reminiscent of the first game, right? Um, so... This is not going to go well, is it? I gotta make this stand up a bit more. So there were there were flaws in the first game, the design, which you know we things have moved on since then, and so they've done some improvements. The undo is a, I wouldn't say it's quite infinite, but it's it's close as. Oh, this is not looking good, is it? Go on, stand up straight. Um, but there's a few weird things in there. There we go. Also another thing I noticed, um, you know, the pipe used to like only work for a little period of time. I think it now, um, it doesn't have that, my feeling is um, it doesn't have a timer on it anymore. It used to be like it was only open for 10, 5, 10 seconds and then it was just closed and you're done. If you don't get balls to it by that point, you're done. But as you can see, it, it's staying open. Which I think is something I'm gratified by. But there's still, you know, there, there's a lovely. The, I still love the. the no, it used to say active as long as goo balls were near it. That's this V fix says. But there was a thing where if you moved away, it would shut down, right? Um, however, I think in World of Goo 2, it comes on and off and on and off. So even if you've got no balls near it, it will reactivate again when you get the balls back there, which is a godsend. I, I don't think it was one of those mechanics I liked very much. Yeah, if your thing was swaying, it could shut down again, says Wii Fit. But I like the, the weirdness of World of Goo 2. Um, it's like the original. And there's a sense that we're exploring the first game again but later in time um there's you know, there's definite feelings like well, this is the same place so i think there was an early level right in this kind of like cave with the uh albino goo balls and this seems to be like a very similar cave and here's the pipe up here a beautiful ice cave i can hear my voice echoing off the frozen walls hello hello Hello! I feel like I could freeze here and become a fossil, and maybe someone will find me millions of years from now. Or these balloons might come in handy. These grumpy creatures don't respond to any form of poking or tugging, but there might be some way to steal, I mean acquire, their flying goo balls. But again, there's the same themes like uh, World of Goo was about you know there was a sort of like the excesses of capitalism um, and the themes are here as well i mean you see that a lot through the 2d boy tomorrow corporation stuff right they have a lot of stuff about um uh you know is capitalism that good for us hyper capitalism that good for us so we're catching these balls let's go back down again See if we can get some more. 
Then again, if it gets too heavy, maybe it just... See, I'm, I'm going up and down, because the curse is up and down near the... Maybe, maybe that's enough. There we go. Okay, let's deflate, see if we can get some more. Oh. Now. There we go. Let's put that there. Let's put that there, see if we can get some more. Just don't click this. I think we got all of them. So let's see what happens. There you go. Still have OCD up here. Okay. I have not made the time achievement for any level. I've only tried a few times, but it's, it's quite a bit to do. Um, rebirth. Rejuvenation. Revitalization. Reincorporation. Rebirth. World of Goo Corporation is now. World of Goo Organization. Yeah, that's, um, I don't really want to show you too much of World of Goo 2. Um, because, you know, there are things to be discovered, and, and, and there's some weird levels, there's some hard levels. And it is fun sometimes. There are also some uh, really hard optional levels. Um, and they're very hard. <laughs> um, more about building insane bridges, which, uh, that kind of thing, where, you know, you've got to work uh, your socks off and one false move and the whole thing will fall apart uh, I've done one of those um, but yeah I, I I have enjoyed uh, World of Goo 2 probably but not as much as I was I was hoping to but then again you're never quite sure how much of the nostalgia is clouding what the original game was like right if I go back and play World of Goo 1 I still love it but am I loving um, what I remember of it like oh yeah this is a good game that's a very good game it's, you know, um, but yeah, I'm going to play it to completion. I had to some uh, silly things, which I love. Uh, the, the, the visuals are just, just great. There's lots of like cool music and riffs on the, 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 the themes from the previous game. And there's a sense of like, it's not a remaster. It's sort of like, you know, this is World of Goo gone forward in time. Um, so yeah. Check it out. Um, if you're a World of Goo fan, you're still gonna love World of Goo too, right? You're not gonna, not gonna hate it. So that came out one week ago. It's not available on Steam. Um, you can get it from the World of Goo 2 site direct, uh, or you can get it from Epic. It's available on Windows, Mac, Linux, and Switch. The interesting thing is. Uh, I needed to get a copy of World of Goo, right, for to show you earlier on here, and I didn't have a new version of World of Goo. Uh, I had an old version. It was just like the it just didn't work properly on my Windows screen. I just I was like, oh god, this is bad. It didn't work properly on my Windows screen. I'm talking about a monitor here. I'm talking about an HD monitor. Uh, but I went back to the link from 2008 when I bought World of Goo originally and just used the same link. And it worked and I was able to download a new copy of the game. And I was like, that is amazing. I love the fact that they have kept all that stuff alive. Um, so if you have an old World of Goo link that you bought like in 2008, you can, uh, you can, you can, re you can still use it. So let me give you the link to the site. Um, 
as I keep on moving around. So I'll take you to the site. You can get it from Epic if you wish, or directly from the site. I did buy it in Epic, but I didn't realize that the time was on their own site. I would have got it from their own site otherwise. Link sustainability, says Vivig. So there you go. That's my little reflection in the world of Gucci. I've not finished the whole thing, but I think it's a, a fair assessment. I mean, it's been to like 80% of the game. Uh, I said, I don't want to tell you anything about what happens. You know, like, World of Goo went kind of crazy towards the end. World of Goo 2 uh, goes even very weird. Um, good weird. I like that weird. Anyway, very much wondering what all the fish hooks are about. You can never tell if some of the, uh, the, the objects you see, are they important or not? Or will they have any, have any role? Um... And these, this, I'm often wondering about secrets too, because there was one Easter egg in the first World of Goo, and I wonder if there's any others in here. Um, click, 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 click. <laughs> Stop, y'all. That's enough of that. Okay, we should move on from World of Goo too. Uh, Joe plays World of Games. Says I can't actually remember how World of Goo one got weird, so maybe I need to go back and play it. That's all I will say. I don't want to spoil the surprise for you now. 